Aloha, my friends. Happy Solstice Eve from here in California. Solstice Eve and Solstice will be tomorrow at 10.31 a.m. Lotus Dawn here out at the ocean enjoying the solstice. I wanted to come to you with a live solstice update all about the energetics, what's happening, what might you be feeling, what might be coming up. These are big energies, my friends, and it's so beautiful. So whether you're in the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere, join me to dive into these solstice energies. So we have the sun just about to go into Gemini, the tail end of Taurus. We have Mercury, we have Venus, all in Gemini. So we have this configuration, the sun, Mercury and Venus, all in the sign of Gemini. So what is Gemini? Gemini is intelligence. It is intellect. It is information. It is the thought world. It is the mind. It is any type of communication, written, spoken, shared. Gemini is the great teacher. It's the great thinker, the great knowledge bringer. And so Gemini energy is air and it likes to move and it likes to circulate and it likes to share information. And so Gemini is like a master marketing person. They're really good at communicating and sharing information. So this time of the solstice is actually a really great time to network and to come together in groups and to meet new people and to get out into the world. We also have Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus still. And so Jupiter is expansion and Uranus is change and in invention and creative new ideas. Taurus is grounded and earth-based and so there's a lot of expansion around Taurian things such as nature, being out in nature. Whereas Uranus, there's a lot of new ideas and innovation. Jupiter is the millionaire planet. There's some cool music playing in the background. So Jupiter is the millionaire planet. So where might we make the best money right now? We wanna to look to Jupiter, the millionaire planet, and we wanna to look to Venus, the billionaire planet. And so Venus is all about big money and so Venus is in Gemini and it's right up there with the Sun and with Mercury and so the best ways to make money right now is actually through information it's actually through learning it's actually through higher knowledge and networking and marketing and so if you're looking to learn a new skill if you're looking to gain more wisdom on a subject reach out to me I may be doing another five-day challenge to teach people how to do astrology so if you're interested in doing that leave a comment below otherwise what is it that you are interested in learning what would you like to add to your book of knowledge that you have Gemini is all about that teaching and learning new information now because it is the solstice and because the Sun is emitting here in the northern hemisphere the greatest light and yet in the southern hemisphere emitting the greatest shadow the question becomes polarity right greatest light greatest shadow and so we also have at the same time we have the sun which is shining mercury which is communication and venus which is the billionaire planet in gemini all about speaking writing creating doing books giving speeches etc and it's venus there so you might see a lot of women stepping up to the plate, doing a lot more speaking, doing a lot more writing, doing a lot more authoring of books. There's going to be a lot of feminine energy rising with Venus and Gemini. Well, right now, Mars is in Aries, and so the masculine is also gearing up, but they're more geared up towards action. And we, of course, all have both. And so the feminine, right, we are going to be the Venusian energy. The energy of love is all about communication and expression and writing and teaching and sharing whereas the masculine energy Mars is all about taking action getting into our chariot and galloping forward which is interestingly very appropriate because right now we have the chariot Ariga which is another star constellation we have the Sun 
Mercury and Venus right next to Ariga, which is the charity, which is taking action, which is moving forwards. It's, it's, it's about that fast, rapid action. So if there's something in your life, especially related to the mind, related to intellect, related to thought, related to books, writing, videos, with all those planets in that sign about thinking, writing, authoring books, and creating, next to Ariga, which is the charioteur in taking action, and with Mars also in Aries, which is also taking action and rapid action at that, you might be feeling really propelled forward. Like there's an amplitude, there's an amplitude, there's a sh vibrational push drawing you to take action in some way. So what is in your heart? What is in your mind? What is in your soul? Solstice. It is the holiday of the soul here in the Northern Hemisphere. Of course, the opposite will be in December for those in the Southern. So exciting for you and, and also it's so interesting to take note that as we in the Northern Hemisphere are in the greatest light, those in the Southern Hemisphere are having the shortest day of the year. And so there is such a mix of polarity and a recognition of two things being opposite and yet creating some kind of a magic through that polarity. Right now, I'm standing between, I don't know if you can see it, the sun and the moon. The moon is just right back there. And the sun, of course, is right here, right back behind me. It's so beautiful, I had to get it into the shot. So what is in your heart? What is in your soul? Solstice, greatest light, greatest soul potential. And also greatest light, greatest shadow. And so as you leap into that knowingness and that beingness and that connection to your greatest soul potential and purpose upon this earth, that light that is illuminating is also casting the biggest shadow. And so you may be having very big, intense awarenesses of your deepest layers and parts of yourself coming up to be seen, coming up to be illuminated. And so it's not a time to be afraid or scared. It is a time to take action, to tap in and to allow that solar light illumination to shine upon whatever the challenge is and to see it as an opportunity to step greater into your brilliance. It's sort of like the universe is saying, okay, this is you, this is the greatness of you, this is the full potential of you, this is your greatest light, your greatest purpose. How aligned to it are you? Let me show you that image. Let me, let me introduce you to that highest version of yourself. And then the shadow's right there saying, what is the biggest thing in the way of you stepping into that brilliance, of you stepping into that full potential, that light, that beingness, that is the gift that you are. And so, yeah, let's step into it, shall we? Step into that brilliance, step into that light, that gift that you are, right? Feel that. And then allow whatever's in the way whatever that shadow that is being brought to light, to be seen, to be illuminated, to be expanded, and allow that light to bless you, to wash through you, to illuminate you, just as the sun is shining through for us right now. Brilliant solar light, shining upon the soul essence, shining upon you, shining upon your beingness and let us just tap into that ceremonial presence of this time whether you're in the northern hemisphere or in the southern hemisphere join me to tap into that centeredness into that connection that divine pillar that you are that i am that we are on this earth between heaven and between earth and it all meets at the heart. It all meets through love. It all is possible through the beauty of love, through the connection of our hearts. And so I just want us to imagine that pillar of light, greatest light shining through all of our auric fields, through the center of our being, illuminating, illuminating our light potential. 
and then shining and expanding and growing larger and brighter and more and more beautiful to fully illuminate this entire earth, to fully illuminate all of you, to fully illuminate all the levels and layers of your body and being with that divine light and allow whatever shadow is being seen. Ah, thank you for being the teacher that you are to guide me into greater alignment to this higher soul essence self. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I am here, we are here to fully step into the brilliance of who we are. And all the shadow, all the polarity, all the waves of the ocean and the clouds, across the sky are all here as teachers and guides to draw us deeper and deeper into the heart, into the soul, into the beingness that is who we are. So sending you brilliant light waves from this solstice eve May you all be blessed, uplifted, and energized, directed towards your highest path, your highest purpose, with divine love and oneness. Aloha, my friend.